When finally deciding to take the plunge and start a business, you may have your product figured out. You may have your services figured out. You may even have your business name figured out. But what you might not have figured out is your finances. Hi, my name is Adrena. I am the owner and accountant here at Accounting by Adrena. And in this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the top unexpected expenses new business owners face. Now, the very first item that I wanna talk about is actually filing for an LLC with your state. An LLC is a limited liability corporation, and that's basically going to be the umbrella under which you operate your business. And this is going to be kind of like um, the umbrella that helps you uh, stay dry on a rainy day, for example. So let's say I am my own person and I have my own personal assets. That umbrella is going to protect you as far as people kind of trying to get to your own personal assets. If they end up suing you because you did something wrong in your business, topic for another day. But in this particular sense, there is a cost associated with filing for an LLC with your state. So make sure that you do the research first and you go to your state's website to see if it is in fact needed for you to become an LLC or if you should continue operating as a sole proprietor and talk to the professionals in your life that can help you with that. And the second top ex unexpected expense is those particular professionals. So I'm talking anywhere from accountants and bookkeepers to CPAs to tax advisors to tax attorneys to subcontractors. Maybe you want to hire a website designer. So that website designer is going to be part of your professional fees. All of these little charges can actually add up. So again, do your research, kind of project exactly how much money you plan to spend in the first six to 12 months of your new business, especially if you are a service provider because you wanna make sure that you are keeping yourself protected um, legally speaking. So again, filing for an LLC, getting all of the professional help that you need um, in order to start your business. And the third top unexpected expense, this is the exciting part, is your business insurance. Now, I know a lot of you might actually not have business insurance, and um, I'm not going to comment on that, but what I will say is get your business insurance. Um, make sure that you call around, you get kind of some price quotes from different insurance agencies, insurance companies, and you find the one that works best for you in your situation at your current rate, um, whatever that may mean for you. So this is something that I did right off the bat when I started my business because I knew I wanted um, to be kind of like protected on all fronts. So I got my LLC right away and I got my business insurance right away. Now the fourth top unexpected expense that new business owners may face is equipment. What kind of equipment do you need in order to operate your business? Now, are you gonna actually need to rent some office space? Are you going to need to purchase some computers? Are you gonna need to purchase a car? Are you gonna need to purchase a printer, all of those things will definitely add up. So you wanna make sure that you are taking that into consideration before you flip the switch, so to speak, on your business. Now the fifth unexpected expense is social media advertising. When you first start a business, you are gonna to need to spend money on advertising and marketing. And this is something that a lot of people don't necessarily plan for, it just sort of happens. You have to kind of jump in uh, full force and that may mean spending some money on social media advertising. Um, again, you might need to pay for your website, you might need to pay for any kind of other tools that you would need in order to promote yourself on social media. For example, if you need someone to run Facebook ads, that's gonna be a whole separate conversation with a whole separate person. If you're gonna be doing those same types of things on Pinterest, Again, whole separate conversation with a whole separate person. So make sure you do your research and have all of those expenses accounted for ahead of time. Now my very last top unexpected expense is taxes. How exciting is that, right? Yeah, crickets. So 
when we start a business, sometimes we don't realize that we need to pay those pesky quarterly estimated tax payments. And don't you worry, I do have videos on exactly how to pay your quarterly estimated tax payments. I'll go ahead and link those in the description box below. But make sure you do your research and you set aside money to pay for your quarterly estimated taxes as well as your annual tax payment. In addition to any other taxes that you may owe to the state, any kind of sales tax. Now starting your business is such an exciting time and I wanna be there along with you for this wonderful ride. And if you're looking for any other kind of tips and advice about bookkeeping, finances, planning, business, all of these things I talk about in my bi-weekly newsletter. And you can go ahead and sign up for my newsletter if you go to accountingbyadrena.com slash be organized. When you sign up with that link, you will automatically get a free download straight from me to you to help you keep your finances in order. So it's sort of a win-win situation because you get the freebie and you also get some free advice from me on a bi-weekly basis. And I would love to be in conversation with you as you start your business and as you go about this journey. So I can't wait to hear more about the type of business that you're going to be starting and kind of like the journey that led up to that decision and when you decide to flip that switch to actually start your business. So again, sign up for my newsletter at accountingbyadrena.com slash be organized and I will see you in my emails. All right, friends, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you can be the first to know of new videos coming out and I'll see you in the next video.